Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will start the Azure Kubernetes workshop. In this workshop we will go through the task to deploy a multi-container application to Kubernetes on Azure Kubernetes services. In this throughout this workshop we will create an AKS cluster. We will choose the best deployment options for the pods. We will expose the pods to internal and external network users. We will configure SSL for Azure Kubernetes service ingress and we'll monitor the health of an Azure Kubernetes service cluster. We will scale the application in an Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let me just first of all give you an introduction of this workshop and then proceed further. Okay, so imagine that you are an IT engineer at one of the companies and it is a nationwide company and it has branches all over the nation and the company's development team developed a new website that will allow the users to rate the company's different uh, let's say the products that your company is uh, manufacturing and your company has an outlet worldwide with a large follower base and the company expects many fans to visit the new website you just want to make sure that when you deploy the the website you can scale the site quickly whenever it is needed. The rating website consists of several components. There's a web front end. So the website components are that it would have a web, web front end. It will have a document database that would store the captured data and it would have a RESTful API. The API allows the web front end to communicate with the database. Since the rating website may store sensitive data, an additional requirement is to protect the site with an HTTPS certificate. And the company wants to use Kubernetes as their compute platform. The development team already used containers for the application development and deployment. And they are using an orchestration platform will introduce the benefits of using the Kubernetes. And as we all know, Kubernetes is a portable, extensible, open source platform for automating the deployment, scaling and management of containerized workloads. And as mentioned before, in this workshop, we will go through tasks to deploy a multi-container application to Kubernetes on the AKS service. And uh, we will, I will use my Azure subscription to deploy the resources in this workshop. So I would request you guys to use your Azure subscription to do the lab. And uh, to estimate the expected cost, you can uh, check the Azure calculator. Let me show you that. So it's a pre-configured Azure calculator and you can see at the bottom that the AKS workshop estimate would be around $17 monthly cost. It would use uh, the nodes, three virtual machines, nodes, and it would use $10. It would use the managed OS disk, and it would use the container registry. It would use the container build. It would use Azure uh, Monitor. So total would be eighteen nineteen dollars. What is the monthly cost for this workshop? And if you want to do the lab for a week, you can divide it by four. Not be around four five dollars. That's not at all bad option to learn the AKS. And uh, that's how it. Now take let's take a look at the application architecture that we will deploy. So we will use AKS to deploy a Kubernetes cluster and there are several tasks that we will complete to show how Kubernetes abstract away complex container management and provides the declarative configuration to orchestrate the containers. So first of all, we use uh, the AKS to deploy the Azure Kubernetes service. So if I would, so first of all, we'll do this. We'll deploy an AKS to use the uh, we'll use the AKS to deploy the AKS cluster and then we will configure an Azure container registry to store application container images. This is the second point. And then we'll deploy the three ratings application component. We'll deploy the website document database using the Helm 3. So this is the ratings app that we will deploy using the Helm 3. 
So we'll deploy the website document database using Helm 3. We'll deploy the RESTful API using deployment manifest. We'll deploy the fruit, uh, the website front end using deployment manifest. And then we'll deploy the AKS ingress using Helm. It would be this point. Then we'll configure the SSL TLS on the controller using cert manager. We'll configure Azure Monitor for containers to monitor the website and then we will configure the auto scaling option. And our source code, I would, uh, the application consists of two components, the API and the front end. Both components are written in node.js and the API stores data in a MongoDB instance. So I would uh, pull up the code from the GitHub. It is available on the GitHub to deploy my website. So this is the application architecture and the introduction site that I wanted to discuss with you guys. In the next video, we will deploy the Kubernetes with AKS to start it. Okay, I hope it was useful for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day.